focus for the entire presentation. So well, this call is being recorded right now, so let's make sure we get into it. So guys, look, first and foremost, how are you guys feeling? Before I start this, before I start calls, I think we should, um, I'm going to do something a little bit different I don't normally do, but I want us to really uh, understand that success starts in the mental. So I, what I'm going to do, I want you guys to really tap in with me today because the information is going to change your business. This is the same information. I watched this video two years ago. Okay, well, there's a video that I watched and the guy was talking about this topic, but he didn't really talk about it totally. So I spoke to Zane. He gave me some information about it. I spoke to David and Manitia this week. He gave me some information. So this is like from them, right? And I want us to, you know, really just be grateful. I feel like in this life, we get caught up in so many different things. Like, you know, life can just be crazy sometimes. But I want us to, you know, this, this training is actually dedicated to my good friend, Ahmed Jama. He's actually a chairman. He was a chairman 10. He passed away two weeks ago. This training is dedicated to him. This is something that he would have wanted me to train on. So I want us to take 30 seconds of silence and close our eyes and just show gratitude to this young man and what he's done. He's a, he was a chairman 10. He had a very, very big team in the UK. Uh, he lived in Wales, in Cardiff. And um, he's a very good friend of mine. And it's sad to say that he's no longer here with us. But I want us to have gratitude and understand that, you know, this life, don't take it for granted, man. Live every day with intention, eat well, drink water, work out, you know, live your best life, love, love your people around you, make sure that they know that you love them because you never know what can happen in life. So I want to take 30, 30 seconds, guys, of just, you know, thanking God and just have gratitude and then we're going to start. So 30 seconds, guys, and I'm going to continue. Amazing, 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 amazing. Fantastic. Well, thank you guys for being here. And this training, guys, I'm going to go right into the information. I want to talk to you guys about phase one, okay? Phase one. This is a training that I'm so excited to share with you guys today. Um, I've been talking to Zane today. I've been talking to my, talking to my mentors because I'm always in communication with my mentors. That's a little bit of a clue there about how to go chairman. Talk to your mentors every single day and you will hit chairman at some point. And I was talking to my mentors and they told me to train on this topic. So guys, I want you guys to really take notes. This is gonna be a very, very powerful training for you guys, okay? So first and foremost, guys, let's set the stage here, okay? What is phase one? There's four different phases in this industry of network marketing, okay? There's four different uh, phases, okay? And I want you guys to really, really, really focus with me on this training, guys, okay? The first phase that anyone can be in is called phase one. So you might have heard me before say phase one. The same way that last week we spoke about tap rooting, that's now a phrase that I'm hearing you guys are talking about tap rooting. Maybe before you hadn't heard, and this is now network marketing language. Okay? This is this is professional network marketing. This is like a pro, pro level, Champions League level stuff in network marketing. These are certain phrases that we talk about, phase one, right? You know. Things that we don't, we don't talk about recruiting. We talk about sponsoring someone. We talk about, you know, uh, you know, enrolling someone. We don't say certain terms because we don't want to be like, the, like every other sales company out there, okay? So this is actually something that you're going to hear from me. You probably heard me say it before, but you may not have really registered it because it's something that you may not be familiar with. But now I'm, I'm introducing you guys to the four phases. Every single person that's in network marketing today, I want you guys to really... Go crazy, tag, tag this on Instagram, let, let everyone know what's about to happen because this training will blow up your business, I'm telling you right now, okay? Phase one is the first phase in network marketing. This means that you are in creative mode, you are recruiting, you are in, or you're, you're sponsoring, you're enrolling, you are tap rooting, okay? You are, you know, you are on social media trying to find new people, trying to help people, right? You, you're working with your new team members. That's phase one. Every single person 
needs to be in phase one. Okay? Everybody needs to be in phase one. And I want to explain to you guys, you know, shortly, you know, more uh, elements of being in phase one. But phase one is where everybody needs to be. Put a one in the chat box if you are going to be in phase one for the rest of 2020 and beyond. Put a one in the chat box. Let me see who's serious. Okay? Every single person on this call needs to make a commitment. If you want to be a six figure, I'm not talking about, you know, anything below chairman. If you want to be a chairman 10 and above, this is very necessary for you. A lot of people spend so much time, you know, managing people. And this is what I'm going to talk about. All right. I'm going to really, you know, I'm going to be very, very real on this call right now. I want you guys to, you know, I'm not shouting at you. I'm not having a go at you. Right. I'm looking at the list. There's some people that should be on this call and they're not on this call. And they're complaining and wondering why they're not leveling up. That's the reason why. It's people that should be on this call and they're not on this call. And, and, and that's not my problem. Because I promoted this call today from early. And this training is so important. Even for me, I, I actually wrote down all the notes to this training again, twice today. Because I needed to hear this again. I needed to hear this again. Okay? So I want you guys, to, if you're on this call right now, and, if, and if, if there's people in your team that are not on this call, that need to be on this call, they need, you need to send them this link right now, okay? Because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna break down how, why is it that people, it seems that like they're doing the work, but they're not getting results. This is the reason why. I'm going to break down to you guys why, okay? Now, phase one, you are in massive momentum, Okay? Right now, our organization is in massive momentum. We have people all across the company, all across the UK, all across the our team getting started. We have a guy today uh, got started, Mr. Neil. You know, he's a social media influencer. You might have seen him on the group chat. He got started today. He's already put in his first trade, right, today. He's gone live already. He's, 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 he's starting his live account tomorrow, right? People are in the game. People want to make money. So this company is very special so phase one you should be always in phase one but let's talk about phase two phase two is now where you're now no longer in recruitment mode no longer in sponsoring mode no longer in you know let, let's go chairman mode you're now trying to analyze and you're trying to look at your oh let me let me let me babysit this person oh let me let, oh 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 um, hey 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 um hey tasha um how many calls have you done today yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many, how many prospects have you spoken to today? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm sure I'm sure find out. I'm a, <laughs> and then one of the biggest things le leaders do is they talk about, oh, I'm just trying to find out, you know, where I can work. No, 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 no. If you're in phase one, your organization will be in phase one. You see, if I'm not, rec if I'm not, go if I'm not doing what I'm doing, how can I expect for my organization to follow to follow suit? Okay. For example, if I'm the one, if I'm sitting down, you know, buying Louis Vuitton, traveling here, doing this, and I'm just sitting down, yeah, guys, yeah, yeah, you, you can be a chairman, yeah. Would you guys work as hard as you're working right now? But you see me doing trains, you see me doing events. I have to be the example. You see me having fun, but when it, when it comes to grind, when, it come, when, when it's time to make it happen, you guys know I'm all in. And that's the focus, and that's exactly why being in phase one is so important. Okay, so phase two is analyzing. Hey, 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 um, yeah, you know, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just checking up on you, you know. Don't get me wrong, I call most of you guys, I call you guys, or we communicate at least once a day. I'm sure all of you on this call have heard from me today, whether it's by text or by phone call, by FaceTime, okay? But I don't spend my time trying to analyze, and say, oh, you know, how many calls have you done today? That's, that, that's on them. If you want to, listen, no one had to convince me to go chairman. No one convinced me to do this. I, I made up my mind. I spoke to David. David looked, David told me what to do. I spoke to Zane. He took, I didn't need to be, you know, Zane didn't call me. Hey Junior. So how many, how many presentations have you done today? No, 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 no. Your job is to be in phase one. But let's talk about phase three. Ooh. Phase three. I hope you guys are taking notes. Phase three, you go from the, you know, because you've got massive momentum, decreased momentum, no momentum. Management mode. Oh, listen, you don't want to be in management mode. You do not want to be in management mode. Let me tell you, management mode is very dangerous. This is now where you're managing your, your team. 
you're calling the people that are supposed to have called the people to call. You've called John, John Smith, to call Sam Smith, to call Roxanne Smith. You've called the person to call the person. Now you're trying to call the shots. That's why a lot of leaders in this industry, they, they are seen as egotistical because they're trying to manage. You know, have you ever, I don't manage people. I'm not a manager. I'm just here to guide and direct and help you. If you want to take the advice, perfect. If you don't, no problem. We can still be friends. However, I know the information that I've been given from my mentors is the reason why I'm giving you guys this raw information because this is exactly what I've been given. So people start managing. And after management mode, you go to phase four, which is when people either quit the business or they just completely just die in the business. And this is now where they go into the blame phase. And when you go into the blame phase, you're now blaming. Let me make sure I've got my, um, I'm connecting to my actual Wi-Fi in case it gets choppy here. I want to make sure, hold on guys, let me just, let me just unshare, hold on. Yeah, you saw it guys, one second, one second. Okay. All right, cool. Perfect. So you go, you, so you're going to go into the blame phase now, right? Put a one, one, one. If you can hear me clearly guys, I want to make sure you guys can hear this information clearly. Put a one, one, one. If you can hear me clearly, one, one, one. Fantastic. Awesome. So phase four is blame. When now where you're phasing out people, they, 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 they're so busy trying to watch everybody else. They end up either losing their group, or quit or quitting or just giving up on the business. Okay? So I'm gonna break down for you guys phase one. Phase one is building your team and acquiring customers. <laughs> right? Don't get it twisted. Phase one is not posting on Instagram. All those things that I talk about, those things are necessary. Okay? I post on Instagram, I do lifestyle, you know, I go out shopping, I spend money, I I, I travel, you know, I you know, lifestyle, I'm with my family, having a good time. However, that's not phase one activity. Phase one, if you wanna, cause guys look, in this industry it's so important, right? To focus on income producing activities, okay? I always say when you hit chairman, you can afford to, I personally didn't spend any, any time celebrating chairman, honestly, cause what have, I, what have I got to celebrate? I haven't maxed the comp plan yet. I haven't even hit chairman 100 yet. So why am I celebrating? I celebrated a little bit in the retreat. We had a few little drinking, you know, vibes and whatever, but I didn't really get carried away because me, I'm just getting started. Believe me, if you think I'm glowed up at chairman 10, watch, watch the chairman 100 junior. Like, trust me. Because for me, my mindset, I, I spend time listening to Bryce Thompson. I haven't got time to chill. So for me, I, you'll always catch me in phase one. Even when I hit chairman 750, I will still be personally engaging with people. I will still be, you know, my mentor told me this, write this down, never get too big to do the small things. Otherwise you will become too small to do the big things. Okay. So always stay in phase one. Phase one is, 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 is building a team and acquiring customers. Phase two is now where you're analyzing. You're analyzing. Oh, 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 show me, uh, you know, you know, you could be, you could be, you could be in phase one, but now you're like, oh, no, oh, 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 um, uh, you know, hey, hey Aaron, um, tell me, bro, man, um, you know, your, your business right now, you know, you know, uh, you know, how many presentations are you doing per day? Now, obviously, for me, that's a good question, and I do ask that sometimes, but it's only when I'm having a conversation about how can he level up. Aaron's like, Junior, I want to go P5. So I look at his team, and I'm like, okay, this is what you should do. But you see, phase two is when. You're, you're the one calling them. Say, hey, 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 um, can, you, can, you, can you check and see? So let, let's say I call Aaron. Aaron, yeah, Aaron, can you just check and see what Carney's doing right now? Is he, is, is he recruiting? Is he, what's he doing? That's, that's, leaders do that. Uh, you never heard me do that, but that's what, can you call, um, call John, call John Smith and find out, is John Smith doing a presentation tonight? You know, you're, tr you're, you're, you're now trying to manage your team and analyze and make sure, that you, <laughs> make sure that your team is building and acquiring customers, okay? Then phase three is now managing, your, managing the managers, okay? You're managing your managers. This is now where you're now go from analyzing to now managing. Guys, nobody wants a manager. 
No one wants a manager. Yes, I am a mentor and all that good stuff, but I don't own your life. I don't, I can't make you do anything. Okay, I can't make you go chairman. I can help you. I'm not going to make you. I'm not here to, oh, you should do, no. I give people advice. If you don't take it, that's okay. No problem. I'll find someone who will take the advice. That's the bottom line. Okay? So that's phase three. And then phase four is now your mindset is completely out of I am now because you because the managers you were managing wanted a leader, not another manager. They didn't want someone that was going to say, hey, 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 hey. I want you right now, yeah, to, uh, to you know, to, to recruit five people today. But right now, like there's certain ways that you speak to, to team members. And I, and, and I personally have, I've, I've experienced leaders in, you know, chairman leaders in the company that have tried to belittle me and make me feel like, oh, because they're a chairman that they can do this and do that. But I made them understand that, hey, just because you are a higher rank, rank is just the lowest level of leadership. And, 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 I, and I will be training on that at some point the five levels of leadership, powerful training about how leadership really, really is and, and position. That's why you never hear me talk about my rank normally because it's not, a, rank is just one little, the basic level of leadership. Leadership, rank, a rank doesn't make you a leader, right? Just, just know that. Rank does not make you a leader. I don't look at myself because of my income or because of my rank because there are some, some real jerks that are six, seven figure earners that no one likes them anyway. So my responsibility as a leader is not to be the, the guy that's, that, that's, that's on the billboards. I want to be the guy that just influences someone else to make the right decision, influence someone else to become successful. And that's my job and that's my role, okay? So that's, those are the four phases, guys, okay? Now, would you guys agree that Apple is a phase one company? Would you guys agree? Apple is constantly innovating. They've got the, the MacBook Pro, they've got the iPhone, they've got the AirPods, they've got the iMac, they've got the Apple Watch, right? They're always innovating. You go to the Apple store, it's always so clean, so fresh. You've always got people, you're know, walking in. The, look at the way Apple are. The way that Apple move, no other company moves like that. The, the, the marketing, right? Even the sound, you know, when, the, when the MacBook comes on. Like the way that Apple are, you go into the store and you've got people, hey, how, how may I help you? The customer service is different in Apple. Try and go to O2. Try and go to, to Vodafone. It's not the same. Try and go to Samsung. It's not the same. Sorry for the Android users. I, 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 I can't make this up. I got, I, got, I got a Samsung right here. I got two phones. But I'm telling you, I will go into the Apple store and expect good customer service. They're a phase one company. Okay? Guys, who remembers BlackBerry? Put a BB in the chat box. Who remembers BBM? Who remembers BlackBerry? Talk to me, family. <laughs> Who remembers BlackBerry? I had a BlackBerry. I had a BlackBerry Torch. I had a BlackBerry, um, the, 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 the one that everyone had. I had all the Blackberries. But the issue with that was they weren't phase one company. They, they went out of, uh, out of, uh, out of business because they never innovated. They weren't constantly trying to rec uh, you know, recruit new engineers, new people. Are you guys aware that I believe the Apple CEO and Bill Gates, they both, they recruit a new uh, board of directors every single year. They're always in phase one, looking for new talent, looking for new people. And that's why Apple are a phase one company. Leaders, for those that wanna go chairman on this call, I'm sure that's all of you. When you're not in phase one, your organization will know. I'm being honest. When you are not in phase one, when you are in management mode, when you are trying to blame people for what they've done wrong, and you're trying, you are going to be called out. Not like called out on like, you know, in public, but they will know. If I'm not in phase one, I'll hold my hands up. You guys will probably know. Because I might be quiet in the groups. I might be not as active and I'm not in phase one as a leader. How can I expect for my group to be in phase one when I'm not showing the example, when I'm not leading by example. So make sure guys that you are in phase one. When Christopher Terry founded the company, Christopher Terry has been flying across the, flying across the UK, 
flying across the world, if he can do that, he's been, you know, really working hard for over 10 years trying to build a brand. And now, now we are blessed. We get paid every single week because Christopher Terry decided to be in phase one. He decided, do you guys, do you guys know the story of how I am even started? Because some of you haven't seen, like, haven't been to the events. When you see Alex Morton in person, when you see David in person, these guys are, they are like the best of the best in the industry. There's no one better, like, in terms of what they, what they know, like, the, the, the income. Alex Morton, I can't tell you how much he makes, but believe me, like, <laughs> it's different level. When, 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 when Christopher Terry decided to, he reached out to Alex Morton. And Alex Morton wasn't really that interested at the time, but Jason Brown, thank God for Jason Brown. Thank you, Jason. Jason Brown recruited Alex Morton. Alex Morton got involved. Alex Morton brought in Ivan Tapia. Ivan Tapia. Ivan Tapia brings in David Imanitier. And David brings in Zane. And we're all here because of that. Think about it. If Christopher Terry didn't decide to be in phase one, or let me, let me analyze, let me manage people. No, no, no. Stay in phase one and you'll see the results. So what's phase one activity, guys? What does a phase one leader look like? You have to be introducing new customers to the business. Okay? You have to be acquiring new customers and launching new customers and IBOs and assisting new customers and IBOs to attend all big events. We have a big event coming up, a big online event in October, okay? So for example, my goal is to be helping people to actually get started and go to those events, even if it's online. Now guys, look, rejection. Most of you guys are scared of reaching out to new people because, and, and, and I'm reading from my notes here, people get nervous talking about the IM Academy. Be honest with me guys, have, have any of you felt nervous Speaking about the business, what are you scared of? And I want to break down the mentality as to why you should never be scared. Because why would you get scared about introducing Bubba to the business? Or introducing John Smith to the business? Shout out to John Smith, by the way. John Smith's a real one. John Smith, all day long. But would you be nervous introducing Bubba to the business? Uncle... Uncle Simon, just talk to them. The goal is to always be in phase one. Has anyone been to jail for trying to, you know, enroll someone? If someone says no, has someone ever been to jail for that? Do you, do, do you, do you, want, do you want to Google it? Has anyone from IM been to prison for recruiting someone or for trying to, no. There's nothing, there's no harm. A lot of people are scared of rejection. For most, the rejection weighs more than the opportunity to bless another person. People avoid talking to people to avoid the judgment of others. A lot of people are scared. Oh, you know what? I don't know what he's going to say. You know, you know, it's like you never know who is in front of you. Okay? You never know who's in front of you. I remember... You know, when, when, Mon, when, when Montel and even other leaders that, you know, that I work with now, when, when I was about to call them, I was not about, I was like, mm, should I call them? I was hesitating, but never prejudge because you never know who is behind the phone. You never know who's about to say yes to the business. Okay? I was talking to um, Elisa the other day. Shout out to Elisa, P1000, let's go, let's go. And she was telling me that, she actually, uh, her, her friend, uh, her cousin Sujela and Natalie Q, they were both on the list, but she was about to not call. She was like, oh, I'm not too sure if they'll be interested. And now they're both in the business. They're about to smash P600 this month. Think about that. The, 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 the idea that someone won't get involved is just a illusion because you never know. Imagine if she didn't call them. And they would have been like, why didn't you call me? But you never know. For most, the rejection weighs more than the opportunity to bless another person. People avoid talking to others to avoid the judgment of others. Okay? I speak to influencers. I speak to people that have high influence. because I, I, You just never know. 
who will get involved. I'm speaking to a guy right now that is, I wouldn't say in this generation he's that known, but in the pre, in about 10 years ago, one of the biggest UK artists. And I'm chatting to him right now because you never know. He might know someone. But even me, I, I can relate to that story, you know, with, with, with Sajan and with Natalie because I used to be, I used to prejudge. I prejudged my brother. You know, before he got involved, I was like, ah, oh, he won't be interested. And he got involved and he's made 20K this year already from trading. Think about that. Just by what, you know, and he doesn't, he, you know, my brother doesn't build a business, but he's actually someone that has seen results from trading simply by one decision. Let me, you know, let me just call him, bro. Are you interested? Okay. One of the worst things that I've heard is when people say things like, no one's interested in my business. That is an absolute joke. How can no one be interested? There has to be someone. So it's, 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 it comes by going through the numbers, okay? Going through the numbers, okay? You have to go through the numbers. In order to be a phase one leader, you must remove yourself as the issue. A lot of you, or a lot of people in general, now I'm not saying you guys personally, but I know for sure me, or some of you maybe, have always said, well, I don't know if I'm ready for it. I don't know if I can speak to someone about the business. I don't know if I have the mindset for it. All you have to do, guys, is open your mouth and speak about the opportunity. You don't have to pitch them. You don't have to give them a fancy pitch. You just show them, this is something that's working for me, that's working for many people. Would you be open to finding out about it? And this is not just speaking to someone that you know. It's also speaking to someone that you don't know and giving them that information as well, okay? Guys, look, when it comes to this business, guys, it's not just about you, but it's about being great for somebody else. Because someone else needs this business. Someone else needs to make residual income. And for me, people say things like, oh, I wanna do my research. You know, I wanna, you know, <laughs> I'm not too sure if it's going to work for me. Listen, guys, this is a business where you can actually, you know, do something for someone else and help them to become great. Okay. In order to be a phase one leader, you must free yourself from the opinions you have of yourself. Oh, you can't do it. Oh, you're not ready. Oh, you're not this. Oh, you're not that. Anybody can build this business. Okay. Anyone can do it. All you have to do is just speak to people and be open to the idea of speaking to them. Phase one leaders know that the more they share I Am Mastery Academy, the faster they will find they're grateful and hungry. Very, very important, guys. Very, very, very important. I'm looking for my notes right now. You know, people say no. And people feel like that's them saying no forever. No, it's not. It actually means that they may just not, not be open right now, but they will get involved at some point. I remember there was a guy that I was talking to a couple years ago, and this guy literally, right, his name is Kate, and he's a you know, big influencer in London, and he got involved after two and a half years of me following up. I was following up, following up. Hey, bro, you're going to get started. You're going to get started. You're going to get started. And he kept saying, no, 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 no. Eventually, he joined. And he hit P1K in 17 days. And that was the team, that was the organization that pushed me probably the closest to P5 that I, that, you know, at that time that I ever had been before. And I'm telling you guys, you never know who's about to say yes. You never know who's about to get involved. It's one decision that you can make that can change the entire game for you. Okay? Newsflash. If you need everybody to sign your mission, you have no mission. Believe me, not everybody needs to get involved for you to become a champ. And if you knew that you were going to become a success in IM, wouldn't you tell everybody? If you knew you were, okay, if you knew six months from now you were going to be a chairman in this company, wouldn't you tell everybody? Wouldn't you go, like, if you guys spend time with me, like, I'm the kind of guy, you will see, I'll be outside with someone and I'll be speaking to people. I'm like, I go to the hotel, I'll be like, thank you for checking me in. I'll walk away, you know, I'll walk away, you know, walk to my room and I'll just turn around 
Um, by the way, are you open-minded to making it, you know, extra money right now? Do you like what you're doing? I always ask that question. Are you open to making extra income outside of what you're currently doing? That's one of the biggest questions you can ask people. Because being in phase one is a mindset. Being in phase one is a way of life. I go to the, uh, you know, the, the, the clothes store, buy some clothes. Thank you, for the, th thank you for the clothes, sir. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. By the way, bro, man, you know, do you like what you do here? Do you enjoy the job? Ah, uh, yeah, a little bit. Would you be open to finding out how to make extra income outside of what you're currently doing right now? Would you be open to finding out an opportunity? I've got something great to share with you. I've got something amazing for you. Okay, why not? Let's, let's exchange numbers. I'll call you later. Or you go to the supermarket. Or you go to the restaurant. I'm always speaking to people. Because you never know who you, you never know who will say yes. You've got a, you've got, I don't think you guys understand how blessed. When I'm, when I'm in the Uber, you know, when I'm traveling across London, I'm in the back of the Uber and I'm like, in my head, I'm like, you have no idea who's in the cab with you. You have no idea who's with you right now. You have no idea who is actually sitting down in this cab with you. And sometimes I joke and I say, oh, do you know who, who I am? Is that who? I was like, I'm going to change your life. Because literally, we have something that can actually help them make more money than they've probably ever made in their life. You know, we've got young people making crazy money. People from all different ages, backgrounds, creeds, religions, making bucket loads of money right now. And not just that, but helping other people to make money. I want to ask you guys a question. I want to ask you as a question. If you went to Las Vegas right now and you went into the casino, okay? And you went to the slot machine and the guy said, hey, hey, John, by the way, this slot machine is not working because it's actually rigged and it's actually got a 50-50 chance of winning. So it's actually out of service right now. Really? Out of service? How many of you would say, okay, I'm going to try and play that machine. It's got a 50-50 winning. You can win. It's 50-50 chance. Most slot machines are not 50-50. I'm, I'm sure none of them are. It's a 50-50 chance. This is the same exact way as when you approach someone about this business. Okay? If I go out there and I speak to someone about this business, if you don't speak to them, do you have any chance at all? No. If you don't shoot your shot, if you don't shoot your shot and speak to this person about the business, you have no chance. If you do, you have a 50-50 chance. And it's either going to be a yes or a no. And if someone says no to you, I'm, are you going to cry? I'm not going to cry. I'm like, okay, that's fine. No problem. Because there's always someone else that can be involved in this business. And what if that was your approach? What if that was actually your way of doing things? Because for me, when I'm, you know, even when I'm on the phone, I was on the phone to, um, I was buying some clothes online and the store was taking long with my order. So I called up the store. I was like, hey, how's it going? You know, this is Junior here. And oh, yeah, welcome, welcome to Louis Vuitton, whatever. I said, hey, uh, hey, madam, um, is my order coming? Yeah, your order's coming. Great. Thank you for that. By the way, what's your name? Her name was, um, I think it was like, um, a European name. I forgot the name. So you listen, thank you. Great to meet you. By the way, you know, I know you don't know me and I'm just a random client here online or over the phone, but would you be open to finding out how to make extra income right now? I know you enjoy working at Louis Vuitton, but would you be open? And she says, yes, I got her number. And guess what? She'll be on the Zoom call tomorrow. You just never know who that person knows. You never know who she you know, who, who her friends know. She actually got like 9,000 followers on Instagram. So, wow. It's, you just never know who will say yes. So what if that was your approach where you're always looking for new, excited people to join your business? Because when you go into management mode and analyzing mode and blame, you're out the game. You're focusing on babysitting. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me babysit this person. Let me make sure you can't make someone do anything, guys. If you're trying to coach somebody and they're not coachable, no problem. It's okay. There's somebody else that will listen to me. I don't mind it. I've got a list of people that want to be mentored by me. So I don't mind. 
If I say be on the call, you're not on the call, okay, no problem. I'm just, that's fine. I'll still, I'll still answer your call, but I just know that you're not someone that I can rely on. And you're not looking for everybody to co-sign to your vision because if everybody co-signed to your vision, you wouldn't have no mission, no vision or no mission because there's so many people trying to get your, your time. But focus on the people and, fo and not just that, but focus on finding individuals that are willing to listen to instructions. Guys, look, your beliefs drive your behavior. Your belief system will continue to rise the more that you do this. When you're, try it, try it, guys. When you're out and about, right, the next time I go out, I'm going to go to the store. Hey, 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 boss, how's it going, man? Can I get that, um, can, I, can I get the, uh, the you know, the, the, this, this pizza? Can I, can I get this, this, this food? Can I get this drink, please? Thank you. Um, and while, while I'm at the bar, I'm going to prospect them. Hey, what's your name anyway? What's your name? My name is John. Nice to meet you, John. I'm Junior. Nice to meet you. How you doing, man? Yeah, how are you coping right now with the whole, you know, the whole COVID? I know it's quite a tough time for you guys right now. Obviously, probably less customers coming in, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just getting by. I'm, 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 you know, I'm just paying the bills. No worries, John. Listen, John, man. I mean, how, how long have you been working there for? I've been working there for about six months. Six months. Wow. So you just before the COVID. Wow, man. Crazy, crazy. Listen, John, man, you know, you look like a sharp guy. I'm actually working on a huge project right now. Let me ask you a question, man. Would you be open to like other ways of making money right now? Yeah, sure, man. Why not? I mean, I don't want to be working there forever. Sure. Why not? John, you know what? I've got Instagram. I've got a phone number. Okay. Clearly. Let's exchange information. Okay. I'll take yours. You, no, you, you take mine. I'll take yours. Let's have a chat tomorrow. Okay. I want, I've got a webinar happening where I'm actually going to be explaining about what I do. And maybe if you're a good fit for the business, we can actually do business together. Sounds fair enough? Cool. Awesome, man. Thanks for the drink. I got the drink. I got the margarita, you know, and I have a good night. That's how I, that's, that's how I built my business. I make relationships. You've got to have this mindset when you're out and about because you never know who you're going to meet. Okay. Like you can, you could be in the store, you know, I, whenever I go shopping, you know, I go to like, you know, the, the stores, I'm always prospecting the retail, the retail workers because they're seeing people buying, you know, Balenciaga t-shirts and, and Mary jeans and, you know, they're buying nice clothes. So when, when I go into the stores and I, you know, especially, you know, when you go in there and they're used to seeing people spending money. And I'm sure a lot of them think, well, why not me? Why can't I buy these clothes? And so you're giving them an opportunity. Hey, would you be open to finding out how to make extra income? Or you can say, are you open to extra income outside of what you're currently doing? And they'll say, yes, great stuff. Let's go. If you believe the next conversation will change everything, you have it. If you believe the next conversation won't matter, you will avoid it. Have the mindset that every single conversation can potentially change your business. One of the most annoying questions that I was asked a couple years ago was, Junior, when you go in chairman, bro, I'm seeing you work so hard. You're doing all these webinars. You're traveling the world. You're, doing, you're spending all this money, right? When are you going to go chairman? When's it happening, bro? I'm waiting for it. Do you know what my answer has always been? My answer is not, you know, like everyone else. My answer is different. Oh, John, you know what? I'm a conversation away. Really? What do you mean? I'm a conversation away, man. The next person I speak to could help us go chairman. Really? Wow. Or I will say, I'm one big event away from chairman. Or I'll say, I'm one prayer away. At the end of the day, you are one person away from exploding your business. When I was a P2K for 26 months and everyone forgot about Junior or Junior is just, you know, P2K for, you know, you know, for forever. When I was at this event in London, the big event, I had the same question. When you go in chairman, bro, I'm one event away, man. Don't worry. You'll see me soon. The flyer will drop soon. That's exactly the mindset you have to have. Okay, because the more you exercise phase one, the more you are exercising belief. 
you guys know what this is? It looks crazy, right? This is a nerve. And this is a nerve. A nerve is basically, you guys know, like, it's, you no, know, it's, it, you feel nervous, you feel, you know, twitching, whatever. This is a nerve, right? Now, are you guys aware, obviously, the word nervous comes from this nerve? But are you guys aware? And this is actually something that I want you guys to really, really remember this. The same energy that makes you nervous is the same energy that makes you excited. And guess what? The body doesn't know the difference between nervousness and excitedness. The same part of the body generates nervousness and excitement. So if you can cultivate this part of your body to feel excited about the next person you speak to, I promise you right now, you are going to have one of the most amazing experiences when you're talking to people. It's not a hard thing. You've got to remember, guys, phase one is a mentality. Phase one is a mentality. Remember, guys, when, if, if, you, if, if this information has been quite over, overwhelming for you, just remember one thing. Stay in phase one. There's four phases in network marketing. There's four phases of being in business. There's four phases of mindset. But if you can remain in phase one, and I'm talking about a mentality. I'm talking about when you're on Instagram. Yes, you're building relationships. Yes, you're posting. Yes, you're on your stories. Yes, you're fixing your bio. Yes, you're developing relationships with people. But make sure you have the eye of the tiger. And you're always looking out because you never know the next person that you speak to could be your leader, could be your chairman in your organization. Listen to me, family. Listen to me carefully, guys. I have lived this life for three years. I've lived, breathed, eat, and slept. Phase one. I am a walking, talking, phase one machine. I want you guys to repeat that to yourself right now. I am a walking, talking, phase one machine. Phase one is me, and I am phase one. He is me, and I am him. I am phase one. I, I am somebody who will speak to a lot of people, and I will sponsor and enroll individuals who will be chairman in this organization. So when you go out there and you feel nervous about speaking to somebody, are you aware of what you have in your hands? Are you aware of how powerful, right? Of how powerful this company is. I don't know if you guys understand. I have been around David. I've been at his house. I've seen what this guy does. I've seen this guy one-to-one. -one. We've had breakfast together. We've been in the gym. I've seen this dude in the flesh. And I'm telling you, you're, you, have, you are in association with people of that level. This company is not normal. You will never see another company accomplish what we've accomplished in a long time. We've got people that are breaking records. And so when you're speaking to someone about this business, I want you to have posture. Like, do you know what, who I, what we do? I was in the gym today and there's all these big guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're like, cool. What do you do for a living, mate? Oh, yeah. I'm, I just, I, I just, I just bodybuild full time. All right, cool. Are you open minded to make, to make it extra money right now? Yeah, sure. Right? Everywhere I go, I'm a walking, talking phase one machine. And as a leader, you have to continue, right? You have to continue to have. That phase one mentality, guys. We've got seven minutes left. I want you guys to ask any questions that you have right now. Put them in the chat box. I'm going to close this call at 10 o'clock. But you've got seven minutes. You want to ask any questions. But I'm going to continue with the fact, right? So any questions, let me know. Guys, look, family, the way I love you guys so much, I want you guys to experience the phase one lifestyle. I want you guys to experience the lifestyle when you walk into a restaurant and you know this guy could be a chairman. That's how I am. I'm always looking around. I'm, a, I'm, always, I'm, I'm always scoping, right? It doesn't matter who it is. It could be a celebrity. I don't care who it is. They're a human being at the end of the day, 
right? I'm all, I'm just like, this company has changed my life. You don't understand, like, my life has been changed. 12 months ago, I was sleeping on a couch. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? I don't think you understand. The lifestyle I live today is limitless. Just blew a bag on Louis Vuitton today just because I wanted to. I'm not just saying that to sound like I'm cool. It is what it is. The money that I spent on Louis Vuitton is someone's monthly mortgage payment. Do you understand what I'm saying to you guys? This company is changing lives. I'm looking for houses for my mom right now. Do you understand what this company is doing? It is changing the game for people. And you have to understand this company is going to continue to change lives. And as you're speaking to people, as you're out there and you're at work or you're in the gym or you're, you know, you're, 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 you're out with someone, you're out with your, with your significant other and they're not in the business or you're with your family members and they're not in the business, you should be in phase one trying to say, hey, are you open? I'm not asking for you to join. Are you open? Guys, we've got 7.30 presentations every single day, Monday to Friday, and we've got Saturday launches, and we've got the Sunday 2.30 p.m. call every single week. Every single day of the week, there are opportunities to show the plan. And, and the presentations are going to happen every single day by force. So you have the opportunity to build. Have the mindset, guys, of a phase one leader. Okay? Have the mindset of a phase one leader. We've got five minutes left or four minutes. Any questions, guys, before we close? Look, I'm in phase one right now. There's a lady that I know. She's quite influential in her community. She, she's quite connected. I said, hey, I'm awesome, thank, I'm awesome, thanks. I've been loving your recent content. I wanted to see if we could collab on a few things. I sent her a video of me talking. She goes, thank you. Uh, if I'm honest, I'm not interested in trading, you know, but I might know some people who are all oh my days. Who does she know? I don't even care if she signs up or not. Who do you know, Celine? Who do you know that can get involved? She might know someone that might get involved and that could become a chairman in 30 days. You never know who you're missing out on, guys. Okay, guys? So guys, look, I'm really excited. I think you guys have taken the information, but honestly, guys, this is real talk, okay? This is real talk. This is real talk. This is like stuff that I can't make up. I've lived this life. I have personally, if I, if, I, if I hadn't lived this life, I couldn't say anything, but I'm telling you, it doesn't matter where your business is right now. It doesn't matter where your, 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 your income is right now. It doesn't matter. 12 months ago, I had no money in my account, right? I was bumping trains to go to meetings. Bumping trains, doing all types of crazy things just to get to the meeting. Trust me, we're in the same shoes every day, but I knew I would make it. I knew I would make it. And I was still prospecting the person. I, I used to go into the Louis Vuitton store try on the stuff, try on the clothes. Broke as hell, couldn't afford nothing. Couldn't even afford a cup of water in the store. But I went there. Hey, are you open to making extra money? <laughs> I still had my trim. I still was looking good, a bit skinnier, but it's okay. I was like, listen, are you open, bro? I've got a great opportunity. Are you making money? I'll be like, yeah, of course, look at me. <laughs> I'll be gassed. But obviously, I knew that it would work. And so, guys, it's the phase one mentality you've got to have, guys. Okay, it's a phase one mentality you've got to have. You've got to have the mindset. You've got to have, and you know, I'm not saying this to sound like, you know, listen, we're just getting started. I am uncomfortable where I am right now. I'm trying to, we're, we're trying to max the comp plan. You know, if you haven't maxed the comp plan yet, you have nothing to celebrate, really. We are about to max the comp plan. If you're ready to max the comp plan, Chairman 750 or nothing. All I see is Chairman 750. There's nothing in between. All I see is Chairman 750. Put a 750 guys in the chat box if you are ready to go Chairman 750 guys. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I thank you all. 
for being on this call. Uh, I know, you know, you guys have got some nuggets, you've got some value. This call has been recorded so you guys can get the recording. Um, but make sure, guys, that you're on next week's call. Next week, Tuesday, I've got a serious training. Uh, I might have someone special on the call as well. So I appreciate you guys. Love you all. Uh, you know, listen, stay safe. You know, the world's a crazy place right now. Stay safe. Love your family. Show gratitude every single day. I love you guys. I appreciate you all. Let's get this bag. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you for being the team that you are. Thank you for serving your team like you are. I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.